the chieftain of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Benengwari local government area of Kaduna State, Sheu Mustafa, has said there can be no peace in the state if insecurity is not tackled. Sheu Mustafa, who was the PDP vice chairman in the local government in 2014, said the major obstacle in the state is the rising cases of insecurity as kidnappers enrich their pockets from money collected as ransom from families of victims. Mustafa's comments are in reaction to President Buhari's visit to the state to commission projects. It is only the bandits and criminals that would make better use of the project if residents of the state have been denied their fundamental human rights by the bandits. Bandits exist in all the three senatorial districts of Kaduna State as they kidnap, demand ransom and kill at will in Zaria. The same thing to Kafansha and almost every part of Nigeria of Kaduna State is being terrorized daily with several people in kidnappers then. Hmm, several people in kidnappers then. Yes, and that is the truth. Nobody's saying anything. You know, those ones those one that they always kidnap, at the end of it, you don't even hear anything. It was initially you hear that, oh, they pay this, they pay that. People are even tired. Because who are you going to be crying to? To go and get money? Are you going to go to bank to go and loan? To go and get a loan? Many people are seeing kidnappers then. He expressed worry that those expected to make use of the commissioned rules or infrastructure are the same people who are kidnapped and killed because they have no money to pay for ransom. Can you imagine? No, can you imagine such a statement? Is that not reality? Is that not the reality on ground? Criminals and kidnappers have their few days. Anytime they wish to strike. Hi! Most people in the state are living in fear. Even those that have, have cars have decided to park their cars and walk barefoot to avoid being singled out for kidnapper. kidnappers. When you commission rules, who are those going to use it? When they have parked, they have parked their cars for fear of kidnappers, what every man, human being needs is peace, food living, besides food, clothing, and shelter. He added that the security of lives and properties is a vital aspect of human lives, human living, adding that one cannot even eat if his life is in danger. You will not be hungry now when you are afraid. When the fear has already enveloped you, how you can the the appetite will not be there. And he called on Governor Nasa Erofai to first tackle the criminals so that the residents can have peace, especially at night. Without security, only bandits will enjoy our commission project. PDP chieftain to Buari. And that is the fact. You know, all of everybody just carried away. Oh, they commission this, they commission this, they commission that. And that is what they always tell you. Oh, you see now. You see Lagos Ibadan Express when they are crying. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, go and see what Buhari has done. D, 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 D. Is it not the same uh, Lagos Ibadan Express way now? That's a bandit. Our kidnappers are not uh, giving people on the houses, on the road, breathing space. Rest of mind. Who are the people? People are dying. You are saying, as early as you are going, doing projects. And all those projects that are not, not even that, they are not up to, uh, they are substandard projects. You can imagine. Who are the people? People are dying. You say, yeah, hey, oh, they have done this. You have, oh my goodness. And that is the truth. But unfortunately, these say PDP people, because they are not in power. If they are in power, they will, they will just look the other way. Anything you are saying, they will look the other way. I could remember that was the reason why a lot of people had hopes and belief in this uh, Buhari's regime because they were speaking the language, they were speaking the truth, they were speaking the raw truth. People could hear it, people could feel it because you are saying it, and it is that is the that is the truth. But now they are there now. Whether they are overwhelmed, whether they don't know what to do, whether it is a deliberate act, whether there is an agenda to be completed or fulfilled, I don't understand either of all of those. But when they were outside power, they were speaking the language of the people. They were so friends with the people. But now, if not that Nigerians stood against them, they will not even allow anybody to be speaking, especially this uh, Buhari and his government. They will not allow anybody to speak. This man is he's saying it, pure, 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 pure. But give them the power too now. It becomes something else. That is the problem we are having. When the table turns again, you know, you don't hear from them again. You will not hear from them. But in reality, what is said is just what it is. They are not paying attention against like every... You, uh, this man is not even saying anything again. Or like initially when the thing was really constant, the insecurity was really 
consistent. He was always coming out. He would be crying. He to fight with crying. But now, they don't even care. They don't even care. The main thing, the security is the main thing. Who are the people who, are, who uh, that will enjoy it if not for the bandits? Just like he said. A lot of, if, you, if you know the numbers of people who are see with uh, this uh, kidnappers, this uh, bandit, uh, you'll be amazed. You'll be shocked. And a lot of all these incidents are not being even reported. They are not reported. Well, hello is negative remarks for the losers party PDP. The bad belly fellow, fellow is confused of what to attack Erufa. Instead, he is talking rubbish. Hey, security is everyone's business. Really? Security is everyone's business. The same Erufa who was mocking the third than governors that say, how are they going to effect the ban on a uh, open grazing? That where are they going to? Who is going to? Who is in charge of security? Is it not the federal government? Is it not the uh, federal government? According to what he said, it has so people who are dying. Can you see? Very that is why this one is even from the north. Oh. Very insensitive set of people. Huh. Let us forget party issues, but to be precise, the man is saying the he's saying the truth. He's saying the truth. Irrespective of uh, who's us is God, irrespective of who is saying it, that is the truth. That is the truth. Otherwise, we should stop deceiving ourselves. Hmm. Despite all atrocities these terrorist party are committing, some people are still opening their satanic and thinking zoom out to talk nonsense in the name of supporting them. I don't even know why some people, some of you, keep uh, gravitating towards evil. Well, I like this article. Only bandits will enjoy your commission projects. He will has have here. He will has here. Let him hear if they are going to listen. In 2014, Buhari was attacked by gunmen. In same Kaduna, where was he? That was his reaction as a leader of then ruling party. And somebody was saying, and, and it occurred to me, somebody saying that uh, in 2014, you could remember that something of that nature happened. And those were the things that you use in campaigning. But now, the problem, the problems have escalated. And you are not doing anything. You are just saying it. Do you know what is happening in that city? The same Erufai told us that, uh, oh, uh, uh, the, uh, it's just a little fraction area, fraction of place that is that is experiencing insecurity that when you hear the way people always talk about it, as if uh, the whole Kaduna is engulfed with insecurity. That was what he was saying. Just to downplay it. Just, just tiny fraction of a a, a area that was experiencing uh, or that has been experiencing insecurity so that's why i say it does not even care anymore doesn't care anymore people are dying you are talking about infrastructure you are talking about you build this all of of course now every all of them they must every of the governor every of the governor they must have a one thing or the other to say or to do to commission it's, it's a normal thing so what are we talking about what is the big deal 